guys, so a lot of you guys already know, but I used to be a huge gamer, almost to the point of addiction. Because I'm one of those people that once I really get into something, I go 100%, I get super into it. Well, in the past few years, I actually haven't played many games at all. I purposely stopped myself from buying games because I, I mean, I was like a drug addict. If the game is in my house, I'm gonna play it. No matter how hard I try to, even if someone hides it for me, I'm gonna find, I'm gonna sniff it out. I guess that would make me more like a dog, actually. But like a drug addict dog, and the drugs are games, and it's a gaming dog. What? What am I talking about? Like I was saying before, I so really interrupted myself. I haven't played or gotten into gaming in a very long time. Up until recently. That's right. I relapsed. I mean, it's definitely not as bad as before, but I once again gave into my demon that is gaming. And even though it's been a while, I think because I was so into gaming in the past that once I started gaming again, it was it was just like riding a bike. I went through all the stages that most gamers go through in less than a week. If you've ever really gotten into a game, you know exactly what stages I'm talking about. Stage one is like when you first start playing and you're all like, I don't get it. I'm just playing for fun. Oh, I died? Haha, <laughs> who cares? Stage two, you're like, yeah, I kind of got it. This is starting to get fun. Yeah. Stage three, got it down. I am starting to get pretty Good. Stage four. I am really good actually. Wow. Stage five. I am damn good. This is getting serious. This is not a game anymore. And of course, stage six. This is not a game anymore. What are you doing? If you've ever really been into gaming, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Don't even try to deny it. It's there's nothing to be embarrassed about. It happens to the best of us. The best of us! Anyway, if you guys don't already know, I make these videos off things that really inspire me. And after such a long time, playing online has really inspired me. Not the games, but the people. The gaming world can be the most fun place ever. But at the same time, if you're gonna join it, you also have to deal with the most annoying people ever. The thing is, when I was playing video games a few years ago, it was already bad. It is worse now. There was always the same types of annoying people, but now there's just more of them. And that's why today I'm gonna be talking about the most annoying gamers on the internet. Magodi. It makes way more sense to say most annoying gamers online, but Mago just sounds dumb. Magodi. And because I already know I'm gonna get comments about this, before I get started, I know a lot of these examples are gonna be geared around guys and it's not meant to be sexist at all. I know gaming isn't all guys, there's girl gamers too, all right? But these were inspired from real personal experiences and majority of the time, if not all the time, it was a guy. And let's just be real, there are more guy gamers than there are girls, at least for the games that I'm gonna be talking about. It's not sexist, it's just a fact. That sounded bad. It's not, that wasn't sexist. I, what, you, I'm scared. Gender equality. The troll. So this is the most obvious one, so I'll just get it out of the way. At this point, everybody knows what a troll is. You don't have to be a gamer to know what that is. The goal of a troll is simple. To upset or anger other people. There are trolls everywhere, but in gaming, they are the most successful. Not only can they annoy you with words, but in a way, they can also annoy you physically. Like, they can actually ruin gameplay by doing things like purposely blocking you so that you can't move anywhere, or friendly firing when you hurt your own teammates. And of course, you can't forget that trolls also love to verbally annoy you as well. They pretty much all just use the same nine-year-old tactics. Like mocking everything you say in a stupid voice. Come on. Dude, we gotta go get the flag. Get the flag. No, seriously, dude. Seriously, Stop dude. Mocking Stop me. mocking me. Stop mocking me. For saying the lamest your mom jokes. Dude, you got any flashbangs? I'll flashbang your mom. <laughs> dude, that's gross. Your mom's gross. <laughs> dude, come on, dude. I don't even have a mom. Your mom is... Sorry, man. It's okay, dude. It happens to the best of your us. Your mom is the best. <laughs> The shiitake mushroom. This next guy I call the shiitake mushroom because mushrooms are a fungus and that's exactly what this guy is. A sh talking fungus that is a menace to the game. Unlike the troll, shiitake mushrooms aren't trying to ruin the game for you. They take the game seriously. So serious that the moment something bad happens, they begin to shiitake the entire rest of the game. I actually think these guys are even more stupid than the trolls. Because almost every single one of them uses the exact same unoriginal, overly used insults and phrases every single time. Get wrecked. You mad, bro? Speak English, you Chinese mother Get shrekt. Got it. Speak English, you gay mother so gay. 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 America. USA. USA. Hey, USA. Yeah, I'm from the US, but I'm not gonna lie. The majority of these shiitake mushrooms that I came across, 90% American. But that also could just be the server I play in, so. Or maybe that's just because I can't understand the other languages, but you guys can let me know. The noob caller. If you don't know what a noob is by now, then you're a noob. noob. That right there is exactly what noob callers do. A noob is someone new to the game. And noob callers are people who absolutely must let you and everyone else in the game know that he or she, gender equality, is a noob. Or at least plays like one. And noob callers are kind of like YouTube comments. They look for every single little mistake so that they can call you out on it. Wow, this is so fake. At 6 minutes and 36 seconds, you can clearly see the fishing line. They messed up. They were clearly wearing a different shirt earlier. Uh, did anyone else notice that he spelled the word the wrong in the title for the noob caller? Yeah, we did that on purpose. So who's the noob now? That's right, you're the noob. Noob! The AFK. 
People who go AFK or away from keyboard may not sound like the most annoying thing in the world. But when you're playing a game online and you're playing with other people, going AFK mid-game is not just annoying, it's really rude. I mean, if you're not gonna be playing, go play single player. Go play with yourself. That's what she said. Or he, as well. If you're gonna play online, you're playing with real people, so commit to it. Imagine going AFK in real life, like say if you were on a date. So, tell me, I mean, what was it like? The wedding was beautiful. Like, even though it was hot, there was a lot of dancing, a lot of or going AFK when you're driving your friends. Hey, where are we going? I think we just missed the turn. Or even going AFK when you're vlogging. The excuse is guy. This guy is so damn good and so good at everything that if he ever loses or gets anything wrong, it's never his fault, ever. He always has to have an excuse for losing that's everything but himself. It's cause my team is so bad. The other team is definitely hacked. My computer lags so much. It's cause I'm so drunk right now. It's cause I'm hot. It's because I let my little brother play, okay? Or, or sister, or sister. The desperate guy. So like I mentioned before, there's a lot of girl gamers, but in my experience, you just don't come across them as often. In fact, most of the time, it's guys. So when a gamer girl reveals that she's a girl by either talking on the mic or her username or profile picture, whatever, that's when these guys come out, the desperate guys. And these guys are all the same. They do whatever it takes to get the girl's attention, but just in slightly different ways. First off, you got the suck ups. They go out of their way to compliment every single little thing she does well and cheer up for every little thing she does wrong. Nice job. Good job. Best kill I've seen all day. Or you got the try hard guys. These are the guys who try to impress the girls by saying how good they are at this game normally, but this is just their off day. Yeah, this is uh, this is actually my low level account. Uh, I have three high ranking accounts like Challenger, Globally. It's not really a big deal or anything. And of course, just like anywhere else on the internet, you got the douches. Hey. Hi. I got two words for you. What? Let's. F the mic abuser. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. These people are the reason why the mute button was invented. And sometimes they're not even doing it on purpose. They're just annoying by accident. They're unaware that their mic is a little too close and we can hear every single breath that they take. They get a little too into the game so they start shouting, which like blows the speakers in your headphones. They talk on the phone or like to anyone else in the room with their mic on so that we all have to listen to it. And of course, my favorite of all, the mic DJ, the guy who likes to play music for everyone through his mic. Keep your music to yourself. The bossy guy. That one guy on the team that always gets so mad at everyone else because they're not doing exactly what he told them to do. He thinks he's so much better than everyone else on the team and we all should be following his exact orders. All right, Derek, you're gonna peel off, cover the left. That's your area, don't let anyone through. Sean, peel off to the right. I'm gonna flank straight up the middle, meet the rendezvous point. Roger? Roger. Roger. On my mark. And one, two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, no, 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 Derek! It's right. Left, it's pretty easy, and then you go up and up, 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 do the spin, left. Uh, newsflash, bossy guy, you're not my boss! Doesn't that sound like it's a reference to something? I don't think it is, I think I just made that up. When I make a movie one day, that's going in. Stat whores. Stat whores are people that only care about their stats. They do whatever it takes to have a good score, but have no consideration for the team whatsoever. And last but not least, and one of the most irritating, the rage quitters. When things aren't going their way, they just quit. But these aren't just regular quitters. It's exactly how it sounds. They're quitters with rage. If you don't know what that means, here's some examples in real life. That piece of food won't come off the dish. Rage quit. Just tied your shoes and the lace came on tight again? Rage quit! You didn't get to complete your entire poop and now you have to keep wiping over and over and over? Rage quit! I think you got something on your face, bro. Oh, it's just Nutella. Well, learn how to eat, noob! <laughs> oh, great, not to go wash myself off. Um, uh, excuse me. Excuse Can you just move out of the way? Are you seriously mocking me right your now? Your mom's gonna mock you. Hey, look, what? Oh, what the hell? Is that a flash? You see, annoying gamers are like a virus. The more you come in contact with them, the more likely it's going to spread and create even more annoying gamers until, well, that's all there is left. So please, won't you join me? The gaming world is already a dark place as it is. Let's end this vicious cycle of hate. Help us prevent the spread of annoying gamers by spreading love and happiness and joy and- Wow. Thank you. You know, if you didn't do that, I, I would have stooped to his level. I would have shot him. I would have friendly fired. I would have became an annoying gamer too. And this vicious cycle would keep going. And hey. Hi. I got two words for you. What? Gender equality. What? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see bloopers and behind the scenes, click the one on the left. If you want to see the previous video, click the one on the right. And if you don't want to click either of those, then just sing along with me.
Alright, we can end this. It's too 